How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse. In today's video, we're going to talk about torching your 3D printer using these. Let's get started. Oh, welcome back guys. So a few weeks ago, I made a live stream using Fusion 360 to create something along the lines of this. And I sort of called it a lattice cube and I was referring it to it as a 45 degree overhang test. But actually, uh, as some of you guys have pointed out since, it's actually a more severe test than that on your 3D printer's capabilities. This is designed to basically test your printer to the limit in terms of its cooling capabilities and stringing and producing a very thin, detailed and intricate 3D print. And it's actually to the point where some printers can't do it. And it's really, really difficult to print, which is why I kind of pursued the idea. And this is what I ended up with. So this is a two by two grid of cubes and the, the overhangs roughly 35 degrees or so, 35, 36. Um, and it relies on very good cooling for your 3D printer to create. So I created this file and I put it onto Patreon and shared it with my patrons for free to try and print it. I sort of gave them the, the challenge of printing it. And some guys had good success and some had slightly less good success. But it was a really good and exper fun experience to see like what people could do with their machines. And I'm going to be using this kind of thing to test all of my future printers. And already the machines I've tested, some of them print this very well, like the Up Mini 2 you would have seen in the review, and the Cetus. I've tested it on the Cetus with very similar results. But some machines maybe don't print it as well. This was on the uh, Duplicator 6, which is definitely having some cooling issues and I'm tr currently trying to dial it in. But I didn't stop there. I decided to make something even more evil, which became this. So this takes the lattice cube to the next dimension where I have revolved it around with a rotational pattern to create this insane lattice structure that 3D prints with no support. Although keeping in mind, it is, have, does have an overhang of roughly 35 degrees, which is very difficult for an FDM 3D printer to reproduce. So that's where you guys come in. I've made these two files publicly available on Gumroad and they are $5 Australian for both of them. So by buying them, you fully support Makers Muse and what I do. But as I said on Patreon, if you're a patron, usually I'll put these things up for free so you can test them out. And that's just one of the perks of supporting the channel through Patreon. So what I'd love to see you guys is if you give this a go, show me your results and I'm gonna pick my favorite best success and my favorite failures and I'm gonna mention them and show them, uh, showcase them on a future video because I'd just love to see how you go. Also, it's worth mentioning that I have tried scaling this file. So what I'd like to show you here is a tiny, adorable half-scale torture cube, lattice cube that was printed on the Prusa i3 Mark II. So it does have a bit of stringing. Again, it might be the filament, might be cooling, but it is the cutest thing I've ever seen. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick video on Makers Muse. As I said, I've been printing loads of cubes and it's gonna be a staple in my next 3D printing reviews. I'm always gonna be testing this file on my machines to see how cooling works for them. And I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. Catch you later guys, bye.